So we have all of the um, pieces mm. here. They're obviously just prototypes. They are. Um, why don't you take us through how it would work so we can visually see um, your idea? Okay, cool. So what I did was I actually used 3D printing mm. to uh, come up with the, the industrial 3D design of how I imagine these devices looking. So um, here we have the phone, which is a non-working prototype, but how I imagine it would look. And what I did was for to like sort of simplify this process of docking mm -hmm. is thought back to like how do our easiest and you know how do the easiest tech products work? How do um, how does Apple make things work so seamlessly? How does Microsoft do it? And one of the one of the answers was to use magnets. So you have your phone. Yep. And let's say, for example, you this have... This is our laptop. Yeah, your laptop. Um, you'd open it up. You'd then take your phone, mm -hmm. and you'd slot it into place. Your phone sits there perfectly using magnets. It communicates via uh, pins at the bottom of the phone. Okay. And you'd then use your phone as your laptop's trackpad. But at the same time, it is powering the entire laptop itself. So would this not drain the phone battery? No, well, essentially, this dock does not contain any power-hungry pieces. Okay. It doesn't have a processor, right. a wireless module, a graphics card. That's all on the phone. Yeah. And all this essentially contains is a battery, a screen, and a keyboard. Okay. So what this dock would do was actually charge the phone while the phone is docked, extending your phone's battery life. So now I'm understanding. Essentially, this wouldn't be a full working laptop, you would need to put the phone in and it would transfer your phone into, into yeah. a laptop. What I really want to show you is um, the major pieces of technology that I believe will bring seed to life. So this is um, what is called a SlimPort adapter. Okay. And this is a Google Nexus 4, it's a phone. And I'm going to demonstrate to you, would you mind, on your, on your studio sure, TV, sure, yeah. um, how I can mirror my display to your TV. Cool. So we're going to hook up this phone to the TV we have in studio. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to grab you an HDMI cable. Cool. That's all you need. So the TV is obviously HDMI. Here's the cable that connects to... And I'm going to plug this in to the slim port adapter. Notice that there's no other cables. There's no external power. It just works as it is. Great. So I'm going to open up the web browser and I'm going to head to my website www.seedphone.com and as you can see it loads up pretty good the refresh rates are good it doesn't lag this is what I believe could really bring seed to life and is the major technology that would be found inside the docks so that you could mirror your display to something bigger